Okay, Gun Collector 007 here, which is a really cool knife that I just picked up on Amazon. And uh, this is from a company called Effingro. And this is the second knife that I got. I bought one about a month ago, and I really like that one. That was a very heavy-duty knife. Um, this one would be more, I guess, what you'd call a gentleman-style knife or definitely a EDC knife. Um, so this one is the Effingrau EF939 folding knife uh, made in China with jade. And that was one of the things that I liked about this. Uh, most of my knives are, you know, you're pretty much standard black. I have occasional blue or something. I haven't had any uh, jade looking ones and I wanted something different. And in the time I got this, I also got this uh, jade pinky ring. So, you know, not that you're supposed to match your ring to your knife. That's kind of crazy, but uh, who knows? Maybe I am crazy. Anyway, so this is the Effingrau knife. A uh, little bit about it right off about from the side here. You can see this nice uh, texturing on this. Um, it has the, like I said, the green jade color. It has these blue screws. It's got a stonewash pocket clip. And to open this knife, this is a flipper knife. So uh, you basically flip that out just like that and out pops this, what I think is a beautiful looking blade. So this is a stonewashed blade. You can see the EF F and Grau on it. And I call it a barber style blade. Other people call it, I don't know, a sheep's foot. Um, there's all different types or just a barber knife or or a straight edge knife, uh, whatever. Again, I just call it a barber style razor, uh, straight razor blade. Um, very, very nice. It's again, uh, it wouldn't be good for, you know, penetration. It's good for everyday carry and maybe you could shave with it. It's certainly sharp as heck, that's for sure. Um, it does come in tan black or this jade. So if you didn't like this color, there are three other colors available. Uh, the specs on it is it's 7.8 inches overall long. The blade is 3.42 inches long and it only weighs three and a half ounces. And the amazing thing about this, this uh, knife is only $19. So for under 20 bucks, you're getting a very, very very uh, high quality knife and it is a D2 steel on it that's the only markings on it is D2 right up there if you can see that it says D2 and uh, EF so that's the only thing it doesn't say where it's made or anything like that um, but I think it's a very high quality knife and for under 20 bucks how could you beat it there's another knife out there called the Gerber fastball which I think is uh, considerably higher in price and um, Really, I can't see, I don't have one, so I don't know, but I can see it being a much better quality than this. Um, I've been carrying this around a little bit and using it, and it just opens, you know, beautifully with the ball bearings inside. It's got the liner lock. It's just a, a high quality knife. And again, I like that it's something in, in a different color. And the way these, um, the lines on the texturing are going horizontal, you really get a nice purchase on this. So. Um, if your hands were wet or whatever and you were using it, you know, for whatever you were cutting, um, it definitely would not slip out of your hands. So um, very, very beautiful knife from um, Effingrau. Um, it's the EF939. I'm going to leave the link below in the description. If you're interested in it, just click on Amazon and go ahead and get it. All right. So thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care.